This road out in the Mark Twain National Forest. And today I want to talk about something that I am not 100% sure on, and it's my video style. If you look at my first videos, and somewhere in the middle, somewhere to now, you know, my video styles changed up what I record, how I record it, what I do with it. And I think that's one of the hardest things to do. I mean, you look at, basically you're looking at everybody else's videos and you're trying to use a little bit of everybody's to figure out what works best for your, yourself. And I'm trying to find out what works best for me still. I mean, you know, um, I don't, I haven't really caught a feature and the recording phase that I really like. And that's why I'm so unsure of it. I mean, there's things that I like that, that a couple of the big people do. Um, I like, I like Peter McKinnon's cinematics, his, his B-roll. I think he's the, like the king of B-roll. I like Maddie Hapoya's transitions. You know, I like Casey Neistat's storyboarding. And I just gotta find a way to tie that all in to, excuse me, it's, it's like really loose here and I'm not standing up. So I feel that everything's sliding around. So I gotta figure a way to tie that into my niche right and so and i'm still trying to find my niche in the youtube world i'm kind of all over the place right now and that's what makes it hard for you guys the subscribers is because you don't know if you really like my content because i'm all over the place with it so i need to find something and stick with it but i don't want to be keyhole just into moto vlogging which will be what majority of my channel is and I've said this before you know I don't want to be keyhole into into moto vlogging only I want to do some life vlogs some travel vlogs not everything has to be on the bike you know I want to do some tech review um, whether it's it's camera equipment or bike related equipment gear I know what I want as far as like my equipment goes for recording for off bike and for doing those life vlogs, those travel vlogs. Um, Cause a GoPro and a cell phone just, I mean, there's people who do it and they're really good at it. Don't get me wrong. But um, I just can't find a good microphone that works with my phone. And it seems like even with the gimbal the quality of the footage just isn't there. Maybe it's the phone I have, you know, maybe I need to upgrade my phone. I don't know, you know, we'll just lug it. But we're headed up here to one of my favorite spots. I mean, the view is absolutely just, is beautiful. I like it. I've taken some pictures of the bike up here before. And uh, I want to fly the drone a little bit out here. I really need to be standing up for this. But I'm looking for my style. I'm looking for like when to add the slow motion, when to add the, the aerial shots, when to add the time lapse, and tell my story better. I need to get better at storytelling. How many of you guys struggle with your story? Uh, and, and if you don't struggle, what are you doing to keep yourself on topic? On a motorcycle, it's really hard. You have so much going on around you that it's really hard to stay focused on your topic. Do you guys set out for 
to record on a specific topic or do you just kind of freelance it, improv? I think the story is what it's all about. Yeah, the willies are great here and there. And the twisties are great here and there. But if you don't have a good story, you're not going to keep them. You're not going to keep you guys, uh, subscribers, interested to stick around to see all everything else. Lugging. Mrs. Braff has said that you know she'll sit down with me and we'll go over and pick out some topics that I'm really. It's got to be something that I'm passionate about, you know, the motorcycle, the photography, um, traveling, seeing things, doing work on the bike. It's, that's what it's got to be about. I got to. It's got to be something that excites me, that keeps me, that makes me want to show you guys my passion. Um, about whatever it is I'm talking about you know this this style portion is has kind of got me in a slump I, I get in I go to edit and I just feel like the story's there but I just feels like the video doesn't tell the story you know that's what I struggle with I guess it doesn't help that my style of writing is all over the board as well i mean i like the the hooligan i commute um i like getting off road if that tells you anything about me one day i'm about to commute one day i'm about doing wheelies the next day i'm about being out here so if i see a snake i'm out of here asap all right well here we are i'm gonna fly the drone around for a little bit Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams uh, They try to bring the sucker down, singing louder than the crowd uh, Should have brought sunblock. I'm out here cooking. Get back to my style. I'm still looking for it. So bear with me and eventually I'll find out how I want to edit, how I want to tell my stories, how I want to color grade, how I want to do my transitions. Bear with me while I play with all this stuff right now. I've been at it. I'm, I'm, I'm still fairly new to YouTube. I've been at it for a year now. I'm still trying to find it. I'm still trying to make the videos better. And the only way I'm gonna do that is tell a better story and find my style. So when you see my video, you know, hey, that's a The Braps video. Look at the moo cows. All right, I'm gonna head out of here. I'm going to head back to the house. i got to find some place to stop and get gas first. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. I want to thank all of you for watching. Until next time, peace out.